Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day. Maybe for you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Layback Gamer, and I forgot to turn my microphone on for the first bit of the video, so I'm just redoing the intro. And we are back with some more Civilization IV Cavemen to Cosmos. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. All I did was just hit the end turn and wait for the turn to pass over. And in today's episode, we are, well, we're going to be coming out of Anarchy, hopefully getting to Feudalism Tech, which is a very nice technology, may I add, and continuing to build, well, continue to build up around here, continue to build up the army for the Egyptian campaign, and all in all, just try to get more done. Now, uh, I seem to hook it up with a bit of congestion in my nose, so if I, and you might be able to hear it. So, occasionally I might mute the microphone, or, well, I'll try to wait between turns, but if it gets really bad, I might mute the microphone, proceed with the turn, and then pick up back up on the next turn, hopefully all cleaned out. <coughs> so anyways, in today's episode, well, I already said that, whoops, I'm actually in a really good mood today, now, surprisingly. Uh, Last night I went on a, well, did the first run that I've done in a long time. Kind of want to try to get back into a little more shape because, well, believe it or not, I'm kind of tired of feeling a little sluggish. So I want to try to get into, well, I want to try to improve my physical health. And what better way to start that than, well, doing the basically the most easy, well, I guess the most successful thing that anybody could do, and that's just put on your shoes, go for a run. I don't think I did too much. I think I went around two kilometers and well, couldn't even go the whole thing. But I managed to do about 70% running, 30% walking to cool off a little bit. Uh, I started getting a little congested yesterday, and because of that, uh, part partway through the first leg, or the first half of it, uh, my nose actually started to plug up because it was, well, you get the idea. You know what congestion is, you figure that out. One sec. Now, speaking of which, I think I saw it maybe getting into my throat, but anyways. Yeah, I ended up, I ended up having to walk it off for a little bit just to try and see if I can get it out. Oh... Well, that's no good. How dare that great white shark kill our decrees. I don't think we get any... Do we get any stronger boats in this age? I don't know. We might. We might not, though. Oh, something I did notice, because I quickly looked between turns. i got to clear my throat again. One sec. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, I got the engineer school going here, and we can also build castles and keep towers. But the nice thing that I saw is up here, we can actually build heavy ballistas and trebuchets. Uh, the Dramon. Okay, I guess that's technically... Is that a better ship than what we got? No, that's not. <coughs> oh, jeez. So yeah, something must be going wrong back there. Uh, let's see, anything else good and interesting up here? Uh, not really, no. Didn't get anything new. Now, this will be pretty useful, because we're going to then put it in, we're going to be able to make those from our capital city, or our siege city. Let's see, so this was going, yeah, this is going on the caves there, which means we need some work on this tile. We'll need to... You're done here, and that's... Are you done in the city? No, you got a little bit over here to do. So better get to that. Our troops are healing up, which is great. You guys continue to rest for now. They're not attacking us, which is good. We'll need a little bit of time. And the fleet's returned home. Excellent. Now, they're not here to pick up just these reinforcements. We're going to be making sure we provide them with a hefty amount of troops. But this is just a start to our great invasion. Alrighty, my good friend. Go ahead and start making up a trail. You go ahead and make up a trail there. You continue to... Well, I guess go Border Patrol for now. 
And you build a ham do I want a hamlet there? Or oh no, I want to I want a farm. That's a nice big uh big lake there. <clears throat> a big freshwater lake. Oh, we get to come out of anarchy too, which is great. We can actually start to build things again. Ah. <sighs> See, so yeah, I actually used to bike quite a bit when I was in high school, and you know, I, I biked to and from places. I actually biked uh, to the next city, which was, uh, let's see here. From my place, it took me about two, maybe three hours to reach closer to its downtown. So it, it did take me a little bit of time, but I was able to get there. And I just hung out for a while, did a little bit of shopping while I was there, because at the time I was... Well, I was really big into Magic the Gathering. And I think there was a car... If I remember correct, there was a card shop for them downtown. I'd been to the couple of card shops that were in our place at the time, but I wanted to go check them out and see maybe if they had a different uh, selection that I could pick from and buy. And I did actually come back with a few nice cards. Nothing too expensive. I think the most expensive thing I bought was... Probably a $10 card, which... It was actually pretty good at the time, surprisingly. I'm pretty sure... Some of the cards I got right now, I could probably get for a little bit of cash if I wanted to sell it, but... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, I wasn't quite able to mute my mic in time. I thought I could have held that in. But yeah, I, uh, I, I had a good time. It was a good time. Not the first time I've done that trip, though. Uh, let's see, what, I, what was another time? I think one time there was just there was a couple of nice places downtown that I wanted to check that I wanted to try something at. I don't think it would no the, I, there wasn't a fudge store down there. I really like fudge, but I I wasn't down there for that re I wasn't there for that reason. Uh let's see. T -t 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 why else did I go there? No, it was probably some pastry thing that I really wanted to try and I brought a little bit home for myself. Ah uh, yeah. Good times. Good times. I def well, that one, that tri that distance, I ended up doing it, well, I had to stop after, I stopped myself after an hour in order to recharge, get a bit, drink a little bit of water and get ready to go. And then the second time I did it, I was actually able to get, get to the city, get to the outskirts of the city. And then, uh, then I drank some water. And let's see here, you can go ahead and... Ooh! I'm not surprised, it is still on their continent there. Although, I'm concerned that they're, uh, they're probably doing a really big expansion effort throughout here. I believe their city count is... well, they have 31, we only have 27. We need to get our city game up soon. And I want to place the next city... Oh, the next city is here, and that'll make a nice ring. That'll make a nice, essentially, well, the, the everything's already connected up, but it'll make a nice visual connection up. So, I think uh, is Mohawk. <coughs> Mohawk is actually not getting ready to do this, but oh, ironware. Oh, oh, I gotta do those. I have to do those because that's really. T How much gold did that say that was getting? Twenty gold. Yep, yeah, we need that. Grab this. Um, let's see here. I have Keep Tower, which is. What is Keep Tower? Is Keep Tower better than Guard? Yeah, Keep Tower is better than Guard Tower. Then we get high walls and we can start getting castles up in this place. Carriage Builder. Uh, we have a cistern. I think after that. Oh, uh, grab the armor. And then start getting us a our complimentary package of where is the uh, oh there's the food food caravan oh we're still on caravans for you but not supply right we need castles in order to get that so I might I'm gonna hold off on making that actually let's see here I need high walls in order to construct the castle so let's uh, bump high walls up and then we'll get castles so that way we can start to build. We could build, uh, I guess, food caravans. That, that's what they're called, I think. Now we could build food caravans out of Mohawk, and that would help with uh, product. That would help with feeding the pop, getting the population up and going. Probably go two and two. That you know, 
I, like I said, I like a good quality bundle of units to go out and plop down a city because it'll make building it up, building the city that much quicker. Or at least getting it a little more up to speed for us. I know a lot of the, you could just, you know, the bare minimum you'd really only need for settling a city is the settler and one, maybe two units in order to protect it. I always, personally, I, you could get away with one, but I recommend always going two because two is, well, it is it is better than one in this, well, in, in especially in a game of civilization. Maybe not so much with the, uh, if you're hit with the continent style that we got going on, but if you were on a landmass that had more than one civilization, well, we hadn't killed the Iroquois, then yeah, we would definitely want to have two guys going with everyone. Even though, yeah, two guys wouldn't stand too much against an army, it would at least act as a good deterrent. Even in a base game of civilization, it would act as a good deterrent. <coughs> one sec. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's just that time of year. It's just that time of year, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. So yeah, I'm gonna go run. I'm at. Well, I managed to do, despite the 70 70 percent jog and 30 percent walk that I did for the approximate two, maybe a bit more than that. I want to say it was two kilometers, but I didn't actually check. I didn't actually measure. I managed to do in about 13 minutes, which honestly, despite not ever going, not going on a run for a couple of years or even a few years at this point, honest, I thought that was pretty good. 13 minutes for all that was not half bad. And uh, well, hopefully, I plan on going out again tonight, so hopefully we can improve a little bit. Ooh, thieves of it and borders have expanded. Granted, that hasn't really done too much here, but it is uh, starting to exert some pressure. It should be, well, we still have strong, there's still very strong Egyptian pressure in there. And they finally, uh, they're finally uh, not shrinking in terms of for population. Oh, yeah, we could build a road there. Oh, that's a path, and that's a road. Oh, okay. I thought these were both roads for some reason. Let's see. So, you finish there. Now, head down to here, and we'll build something there next turn. So, yeah. I, I don't know how long I'm going to go for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to debate how long I want to go for. Probably a good two, maybe three episodes. Get the next couple of weeks next few weeks settle down. Actually, I didn't realize I had so much Minecraft footage when I made some up the other day. And went to my stockpile and went, oh, I have a bunch here. And then the other game I need to make a little more for is actually my PS2 series. But after that, I'll be pretty much all caught up with everything. Like, I'll have a lot of, co I have a lot of content stockpiled away, which is great because then I can start to actually focus on some other side project stuff. Like, I, I might consider starting up a new miniseries, because the Ribbon World miniseries actually did really well. Like, it brought in a, well, even though it was a temporary, it brought in, like, a pretty big spike of viewers. I, I'd have to check the demographics right now. Actually, you know what? This is my vi this, is a, this is my video. I'm going to check the demographics partway in here. Let's see... Let's see, if I type in RimWorld, show all, with the exception of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, hang on, I gotta make sure I'm looking at the right one here. Okay, yeah, uh, I am. So there are eight episodes. There are only seven episodes. Yep, seven or hold on. Gotta double check. because uh, I recently uploaded a couple others. Yes. Alright, so there are seven episodes that have oh, that 
have less that aren't double digits and one of them is actually sitting at nine right now so any it could be pushed over the lip but yeah that series surprisingly did pretty well for us like that has a lot of views on it which is great it's that's excellent to see really happy to see that too and I might consider starting up another mini series and getting that going only for a handful of days. Is there any guys coming close to Thebes? The Domus keeps. These guys keep falling out of favor and then returning back into favor. What is this? An ox pecker. I don't think I've ever had one of those. Alright, Mohawk has got its high walls up. Which means. I have where there's the ca I have the ability to make the castle. Uh, how much gold is that? Well, no, I need to save our gold because I don't want to. Well, I'm gonna need it. Let's see here. You. Uh, oh wait, have we done it? Have we done everything in here? No, we have not. Uh, build me a lumber. We got one lumber mill there. What's a cottage? We could build a cottage up here. So get me a lumber mill. You are that. Uh, let's see here. Withdrawal chance. So much experience. We are built for experience, ladies and gentlemen. And all right, the fleet is ready to go. And we shall... Uh, what can we build in the spot? Uh, oh, we could build a hamlet right here. Oh, we could go right to hamlet instead of cottages. Excellent. I'll take that. Maybe that's just a grass plane, a, gra a plains tile thing. It's entirely possible it's just a plains thing. <clears throat> uh, so what else do I got going on? Uh, well, it's actually getting really, it's getting really warm and toasty outside. Meaning, uh, I, I don't fare too well in the heat. I don't like the heat that much. Summertime's always sucked for me, because I, I like the colds. I like it nice and cool outside, where I could go out and like, yeah, you know what, this is really nice. It's relaxing, refreshing. Uh, I don't mind, well, I don't mind overheating a little bit in the wintertime, but it, because, well, at least in my, logically, it's easier to put things on when you're cold to try and warm up nowadays than it is to take things off and try to cool down in summer. Like you really only have a you have AC, be it just being in a place that's under shade. And that's really it. And it and the shade part doesn't really apply if <coughs> if uh it's humid outside. Like sure it'll keep the sun from roasting you alive, but you know, it's yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it, it just, uh, if it's humid out, then shade doesn't really work too much. Especially if it's a, if it's just, there's no wind flow that day. You need wind on a day that is just absolutely humid. You feel sticky, you try to move around, and you just hear the sound. Like, try to lift a, up your arm from the side, like, you, you put on the side of yourself, then lift it up, and you just hear the, it feel like it's trying to Healing all off the day. Where am I going with this? I don't know. I'm just trying to fill up a little bit of time. I'm not going to talk through every single turn, but I would like a few of them where I do. It does help to, to shorten the amount that I need to go through. Oh, we got a Trophilic Playlight from Minneapolis has written a long series of exceptional popular plays. His home theater has gained renown. Uh, fun the theater. Could double the culture value of it, view of it by officially sanctioning the artist's work. Um, yeah, let's do that. No, don't want more money. Uh, one gold isn't gonna do a, a whole lot. Maybe if we got in that event much earlier, that would have done a ton for us. All right, head down to here. Uh, I don't need to do that on that tile. Getting some nice bit of experience going. I love the nice bit of experience we have going on at the moment. Uh, you want open borders? Uh, no thank you. That's not happening. Huh? 
We have Egyptian horse, an Egyptian horse archer poking around. That's no good. But at least these guys are actually defending themselves, which is excellent. We'll have to be careful though. I really oh, the Dutch are actually gonna settle again. Excellent. Hmm. What don't you like about us? On our friends. Hmm. Okay, Mr. Aztecs. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think about the Dutch? Oops, sorry. What do you think of... What do you mean? It hasn't done it. It hasn't let us down yet. Okay. Because I could, I could potentially turn you into my vassal. We're afraid of your enemies, the Egyptians. Okay, so... Are, are they enemies with the Egyptians? Let's take a good look at that. Alright, so... The active... No change... It's a glance, there we go. Okay, so... And where are you? You're down here. So you're friendly towards Ramses, and you're probably you're scared of him. Uh, you're not really scared of Muhammad, or you know. Oh, geez, good thing I caught myself with that one. Uh, you're friendly towards which one? Who are you? Who are you again? Oh, you must be the Sumerians. Okay. Not, not sorry, not the Sumerians. The Hittite. So, we're friends with you. Uh, let's see. So, you're actually scared of Ramses. So, that's why you're... Uh, that would explain most. So, you don't like Ramses. Or you're, really, you're happy towards Ramses. And you won't actually become a vassal of mine because you're scared of him. At the same time, I bet... Well, you... You probably would become a vassal of Ramses. Although, I don't think you'd be willing to do... I, would the AI be that dumb to do that? Because, look at them. They're, uh... They're not doing... They got three... They have... Maybe two cities? Maybe three cities? Uh, no, they only have two. And their, and their borders are being absolutely surrounded on all fronts. I bet we could help them out. Because I kind of do feel a little bad for the Aztecs. Hmm. What do they have? So they have horse archers. They're probably, re they're probably receiving a... Uh, Eichmann. Do they have copper? No. And I think pikemen require some copperware, so they're getting it from someone. They're getting those from someone else. <coughs> hmm. Oh, nice. <gasps> the new patrols are coming in. Excellent. And let's see here. We'll need to give these guys some extra strength. Make sure they're tough and up and ready to go for a battle. Once we get a good stack of them in there, I'll feel comfortable with taking the whole taking the army and leaving the city. March now and start and resuming the engine of war. And hopefully they'll eventually... I'm hoping that the Aztecs stop fearing the, uh, the Egyptians. And I'm not sure how what's the best way to get to make that happen. Also, if you notice here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the Egyptian Empire is weaker than us by a considerable margin, too. Like, we're a whole point four ahead of them in terms of army strength so there's something that's good that is excellent what are you researching oh literacy oh literature not literacy you want a free oh i forgot to accept that for you yeah go ahead we'll take it and as a sign of good faith you may have the secrets of insurance 
Accept that as a gift. Oh, good. You're now pleased with me. Still afraid of your of our enemies, but hopefully we can make you eventually happy with us. Hmm. Oh, nice. Landfill's been building slain. We can get more defenders out. <coughs> and then, uh, drill. We'll drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day. Ah, uh, I still remember the first Ratchet and Clank. What a good game that was. Ooh, we now have Surf Labor from Feudalism. Oh, and I'm hearing a knock on my door. Okay, well, that took a bit of a long time. Actually, end up spending a few hours away. But anyways, let's get back to the action. All right, so we had unlocked. Did we see? Yeah, I think I saw that one. Oh, it's now 70 free military units, I believe. Or was that a different one that we unlocked? I thought it was a different. No, no, we unlocked Vassalage with Vassalage. So I guess that one went up a little bit. Decreases national rebellious, but increases local. That's not something I want. It might be something I'll take in the future, but we got feudal as a society. And so these require 50% more to grow. I wouldn't actually switch to any of these ones because I didn't think they were worth it. Decreases lo local rebelliousness. I'm not sure why I didn't sw switch over to here. There's something here that I wanted more than... Hmm. Well, here it increases local Nash hit local rebelliousness. We get extra defense in the city. Lots of extra food production gold from, well, from the capital and then a little bit in all of the cities. Uh, disables construction of the totem pole. We just got out of revolt, so I'm not going to revolt, but I would like to... I think once we get one more that I want to go for, we'll go ahead and revolt to feudal and probably go for vassalage too. I will to my lord be true and faithful, and love all which he loves, and shun all which he shuns. Now this is an interesting unit, the early Imperial Guard. I assume it's meant to defend our capital here. We just place it in there and it defends the city from, uh, well, from intruders. We also get the Warden, which is the next level of hunting unit. And a lot of, uh, a lot of heroes. But the nice thing is we get the Castle Keep. Meaning nearby battles will not affect culture, and citizens will rebel against the enemy captors 200% longer. Uh, we have Falconry School. I don't know how to pronounce that. The Chandiokan. I think I pronounced that right. Uh, the Crime of Poaching. The Grand Estate, which requires feudal. The Grand Manor, which is required to build Palace of Bolio. And the Nonsuch Palace. Hmm. That's, that's an interesting name for it. We have Squatter's Camps, which requires vassalages to be active. Gives a little bit of a... Well, no, actually... I do... I don't mind that. That's, that's not a bad tech. Oh, this did unlock vassalage. Okay. Oh, this also unlocks Surf Labor. I forgot to check out Surf Labor. So maybe I did actually want to take a look at it. Anyways, then we have a uh, Topkapi top, top top, top Palace, which strengthens vassals. Oh, now that's going to be a good one. 20% chance to train a vassal's new unique units. Ooh, okay, so... Yeah, uh, the style, what we want to go for with having a bunch of vassals under our command is going to work to our favor for this. I like that. We get Japanese, BM, and a couple other uh, things. We got Bushido 2, Bushido 3. And we're going for Yeomanry next. I wonder if Guilds is coming afterwards. Alright. Fortify, or for, or I guess city, def city Defenders, and... And Drill for that. Alright, pretty good so far. Uh, costume shop. 
Uh, we did construct the castle, right? Well, we'll check it next turn. And welcome back. You have made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed. Maybe share this video to anybody who you think will enjoy my content. And also don't forget to check out some of my other stuff. I don't only, I'm not only doing this game, but I also have done a ton of other games. Well, a ton, I think. Cap, well, I'm not sure how many games I've done at this point, but anyways, here's a little, small little bit of collection of games that I've done. And if you look on screen, it should take you to either another video or a playlist. Maybe you'll enjoy that. Perhaps you might not. I don't know. We will find out. Hope you all enjoyed, and until next one, take it easy.